In this video, we're going to talk about iterating through an array. So it's very common to iterate through the elements of an array, and it saves you a lot of time. And a for loop is what's typically used to access every element in the array starting from index 0 through the size of the array minus 1. Meaning if you had an array of size 10, the first index would be 0 and the last index would be 10 minus 1, which would be 9. And in this example in the middle, you could see a looping structure where we loop through an array. And it typically looks like this. It's the word 4, followed by the int i is assigned to 0. That's initialization part where i represents the index. And then we continue looping while i is less than the name of the array dot length, where length is a public field that gets you the size of the array. And after every loop iteration, we increment i to go to the next index. And let's take a look at some examples where we initialize every element of the array and print out every element of an array. In this class, I'm going to create an array of integers called temps, which will represent all the temperatures for every day of the year, 365 days. So I am created an int array of size 365. And it would take you forever to, to do things like this, temps at index 0 to 60, and temps at index 1 to 65, and so on. It you'd have 365 lines of code to initialize every element of the array, because this is a pretty big array. So instead, you could save yourself a lot of time by saying 4, and i is 0, that's the index starting at 0, and while i is less than the array, temps, dot length, which gives you the size of the array, i++, plus plus. and this is going to loop exactly 365 times, starting from 0 up to 364. And at each loop iteration, I'm going to set temps at index i, and let's just set it to whatever value i is at that point. And also, just to see the results, I'm going to copy and paste this for loop and change the code inside to print out temps at that index i. I run the program and you could see that starting at index 0, i's, temps at index i's value is 0 and the last value is 364. Obviously you don't want the value to be the same as the index so what we could do is possibly set temps to either 0. Now we have 0 for every element of the array. Or we could even set it to a random number. We could do something like this. Random rand equals new random and import random from java.util and then I could set temps at index i to rand dot next int 100 and that will give you a random number between 0 and 99 and if I run the program again I now have random numbers from 0 to 99 populated for every element of my temperature array and just to see the indexes printing out what you could do is do something like this temps at index square bracket plus i close the square bracket and say that that is equal to temps at index i and that will print out something this way where you can actually visually see every array element and its value specified by its index. So there's temps at index 0 through 364 with some random number assigned to it. And that is how you iterate through an array.